All right, so now we're gonna set up our beacons and we're gonna show you just how easy it is to register a beacon and uh, get you up and running in less than five minutes. So first you wanna log in to your account. Log into your business account, whatever business that you wanna to add to beacons to. Right here you're seeing that I've already got one view because I've already uh, set it up earlier. I set two beacons up earlier, so I'm gonna set uh, the last one up of the three that we bought, you know, you get them in threes. We get a three pack, so I'm going to set the last one right here. You can see uh, the first one, and you can see the second one. I'll let you see exactly what uh, the campaigns those was. So you can see this one right here. It says check out this deal, which they will get on their phones, and then you see this campaign right here. That takes you to my uh, website. Okay, so let's go see what that looks like uh, on the phone. So there goes our app, and you can see this was one of the deals right here. Check out our deal. And as you can see, that's the ad. Then we also got. The other one right here now visiting the Kwan's blog. So let's go look at that. And it should be taking them straight to my page. See my web page. Okay, so we're gonna show how we set them two beacons up. Also, the reason why you see this message coming in so many times is because I, we set the beacon up as a uh, for one minute. I mean, excuse me, uh, uh we set the beacon up to to, to uh it's only in range for uh, one meter. And by being so close in proximity, and then we got it set to only um, to uh, to trigger every every time it, it comes in is in play. That that's the reason why you see it show up as many times. So it doesn't bombard someone's phone like this. You can have it show up only one time when you're setting up your campaigns. Is where you would set it up at, and then you, you edit your campaigns. Then you can set right here how many times. See on entering region once, or you can have it. You know once an hour so it doesn't show up like that so forth and so on so let's go set a beacon up let's jump right into it and show you exactly uh, how this would work okay so these are the beacons we have we're gonna set up the last beacon okay we got one more beacon to go so we're gonna add a beacon we're gonna call this one the blue beacon because it's the blue uh, uh, blue the blue uh, the blue one that we have left, we have a green one, we have a light blue one, and we have a dark blue one. So I'm going to go with a dark blue. That way you can uh, recognize it. Uh, after you have so many of these beacons, you can start, you know, you can have more than one blue, more than one green. So what you can do is you can actually take a little Sharpie and write like uh, blue beacon one, blue beacon two, you know, something like that, that, that uh, identify a little bit more. Let's make this 30 meters out. Remember, you can pick one to three, one meter, two meter, 30 meters at the time. We're using the estimate uh, beacon, so we leave that, and then we just hit save. All right, so now what you want is you want to remember this number right here. You see this major ID, 299? You want to remember that number right there, okay? So now we go to our, our, our estimate app. Hit configure and make sure it's by the one by the beacon that you're trying to configure. So I have the beacon on the table, I have the um, have the device right next to it. Now you see we have our blue beacon right here. So we hit that. We go to packets. You hit the I beacon at the top. You see where that major ID it says 297. You want to change that to 299. Because that's our major ID right here. Okay, so you change that to 299. And believe it or not, we are done. We are done. Just that, just that simple. Let's make sure it's checked, make sure it's that it took. Let's go back to packet. It should say uh, 299. Yep. So at that point. We're done here.
and it takes up to two hours for this to transmit okay but after after a, a couple hours this is going to be good so what you can do now is you can start a new campaign for that beacon you see how we have no campaign right now add a campaign name your campaign can make it a deal we can make it go to URL you can make it informational we've already did a deal we've already did the URL so let's do an informational one some mobile page content we put Notification message that's going to pop up for, for the uh, user. You can choose a file, uh, excuse me, a picture to go with it. We're going to have a trigger when it enters the region. We're going to send it once. We're going to start the date for today. And then when you want to end your campaign. Right now, I'm just going to say we end it in a year. You pick the beacon that you want to attach to your campaign. Right now, we're, we're choosing the dark beacon. Right here, you would put if you want to uh, capture your uh, information from, from, from your client. You know, so you want to get their phone number, email name. We're going to leave those blank. We're just going to say, and that's how fast it is and how quick and easy it is to make a campaign. So now we can test to see what they would see on their phones. So that's what they're going to see. Um, right here, you can see how many times that a campaign was viewed. So you can see uh, on this demo one, we had it viewed three times. It was viewed one time on this one. Right now, this one's been viewed zero times because it hasn't been, uh, it hasn't triggered yet. So usually, like I said, it takes up to two hours for it to go through. And um, but then once at the triggers, then that's it. Your campaign's up and running, and that's how fast and easy it is to configure a beacon within our platform. So you see, from start to finish, this beacon came within a week. Okay, so we've got our beacon in a week, and we was able to configure it within five minutes.